perfect. Welcome everybody to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host Colin McEwen. In today's show we're at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge in Northern Ontario. This area is renowned for great walleye fishing. But what we're going to be keen in on is great pike fishing and as well brook trout fishing. A lot of people don't realize this region has big brook trout. I'm talking five, six, even seven pound brook trout which you can catch on dry flies, even woolly buggers. We're going to be talking about tackle, techniques, presentation ideas. It's going to be a fascinating show. I know you're going to enjoy it. Stay with us. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby! Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association. Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. This week I'm visiting Lady Evelyn Lake in Ontario's beautiful North Country. I'm the guest of Red Pine Wilderness Lodge, a full-service family retreat. The species in this area are northern pike, walleye, smallmouth bass, whitefish, and huge brook trout. My mentor for this week is Ryan Edinburgh, head guide at Red Pine. His vast knowledge of the area will be paramount to my success. First adventure here is hunting for big brook trout in small lakes. I've been really looking forward to this. So Ryan, first thanks for taking me in here. This is, I know it's a special spot. Um, and I love fishing small ponds for big brook trout. There's a lot of them here in Ontario and this is one of the mm -hmm. ones off the main lake. Is now, it? you were telling me like there's brook trout up to six pounds in here or maybe even bigger. I've caught them, I have one on the wall six and a half and I know I've caught them bigger up to uh, 26 inches and footballs. These things are fat. These types of fisheries obviously are very delicate, so we want to release all the fish. And I know Absolutely. you have that policy. Right? Absolutely. Okay. Now, we're here about 10 30, 11 o'clock. As you see, it's a bright blue, uh, sunny sky. So we're probably going to have to, I mean, they're not going to be out in the open. There's too many predators around here. I think they're definitely going to be a little deeper right now for sure. Yeah. Long cast. Long cast. And yeah. then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favorite here, a little deer pair uh, mouse. This is Fred the mouse and <laughs> Fred. he has not made it across many a pond <laughs> successfully but it's fun to see those surface strikes and if we can find mm -hmm. some shadows, if I can find some cruising fish, if it doesn't work I'll probably go to an intermediate line that you were telling me would be good for here with a yep. woolly bugger or streamers. streamers. Yeah. Because we're seeing bait fish, there's a lot of food in the water, we're seeing caddis, there's mayflies mm -hmm. in the air and obviously we're gonna have to be prepared to key into whatever's going on in terms of we see them moving, right? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, well let's get started here. Well, why don't we go over in the shadows here, okay? Sounds good. So we've been here about 15 minutes and I've done a little bit of fishing. Had no joy with the surface fly. Um, we've seen no activity on the water. So what I'm suspecting the fish are doing, uh, we, Ryan and I took a look in the water. We're seeing lots of food. There's caddis, there's mayfly. We found a dragonfly nymph and he just found some leeches and leeches and dragonfly nymphs. They're a big source of uh, dietary fiber for big brook trout. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do 
for the next few minutes. Try a leech pattern like this, a woolly bugger, or uh, this one's uh, like a zonker, a black zonker, with a split shot on top about uh, four inches in front, and I'm using an intermediate line. I'm going to cast it out, and I'm going to start fishing the edges and the drop-off, because I think what's going to happen here, the brook trout are going to be cruising around on the edges, trying to, trying to stay deep enough, you know, that they're not worried about predators, because there's osprey in the area, but at the same time, they're going to be looking to find anything that's coming out. So if there's emerging damselflies, some dragonflies, whatever, they're going to seize on it right away and get some food. Give that a try for the next few minutes to see if I can find some uh, cruising brook trout. Got him. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right under the log. He went right under the log. Oh, he came right up for it, too, didn't he? He knew exactly where to go after he took that fly, too. Yeah. He went right under the log. Do you still have him on? Yeah. And try and pull him out. Feel, see, look at those head shakes. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, he went underneath. And let's see if I can. Oh, he's oh. off. He's off. And I just got, I could see him under, out from underneath the log. Let's see if I've lost my fly. Yeah, I busted the fly. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. Why don't we go a little farther up and see if there's any more? Coming to Red Pine Wilderness Lodge, fly fishing is not the only effective way of taking fish. Listen as Ryan talks about what he is using. So I've got a small spoon here. There's a few different bait fish species in here, uh, mostly uh, different species of shiners, I believe. So I've got a small spoon. Right now I've got on gold, but silver works well too. So probably sometime today I'll give that a shot as well. I'm gonna start chucking this and we'll see what happens. Oh, look at the colors on him, or her. Don't know. Beautiful Whoa. fish. This is what we've come here for. It's a fat brookie. Yeah, it is. Very <laughs> healthy looking. There you go. Yes. Beautiful. That's <laughs> easily six pounds, that fish. <laughs> now, this is one of the reasons I've come to Red Pine Wilderness Lodge. Look at that fish. What a specimen. Beautiful. Beautiful fish, look at that. <laughs> Good job, Ryan. Thank you, sir. Look at that, that's six pounds of brook trout. A beautiful fish like that, that's like a, a lifetime fish. A six pounder like that. You know what, I've, I've caught a bunch of those before, but I'm still shaking. Like that's, that's exciting. Fish that big. I'm gonna get one on a fly. Let's go, go get them, right on. The flies we used for the brook trout were a selection of boy buggers, streamers, leeches, and beadhead nymphs. Make sure you have a wide selection of colors and sizes. Oh, oh that's a go. gorgeous trout. <laughs> <laughs> this fly hit the water. He turned, looked at it. I gave it a little tiny wiggle, and he nailed it. Where do you see this trout? That's a big specky. It is. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, look at that fish. This was not the biggest one. This is so exciting. You know what's great is that this is an addition to all the other fish you have around here. Oh, look at this guy. He's a pig. Oh. Yeah, that's right. We have a phenomenal smallmouth fishery. Lady Evelyn's actually known for its trophy walleye fishery as well. Most of our anglers come up for that. Northern pike, whitefish, and monster. Brook trout. Eastern brook trout. This is a six <laughs> weight I'm using here with a fast action, and this, he's making this work. Now, I'll, I'll try and get his head up. I'm worried about this brush over here on the right, but let's see if we can get him in. He looks well, like he's ready. I'll get his head up. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. You know what? I can extend this net. Please do if you can. There I'm we glad go. we brought this instead of my little net. This was not, my net was not up to the size of fish we have here. Look at this pig. That's a gorgeous brookie. This is where you really want your tippet. I'm using a uh, 4X tippet. 
so it's not, you know, this is where you want to make sure your tippet's fresh and you're using good quality. Oh, he's getting around the tree. Get him up, get his head up, get his head up, get his head up. You got it. You see there's a lot of beaver cuttings here and that's another concern. Oh, look at this fish. This is phenomenal. <laughs> oh, there he goes. I love catching brook trout. The only one that could have made this better is on a dry fly. Wow. Okay, got him up, got him up. We got him. Oh, oh, oh. oh my <laughs> yeah. goodness. Look at that this. might be seven pounds. Oh, Look at wow. it. <laughs> Can you believe that fish? This has got to be one of the Jeez. biggest brook trout I've ever caught. Is this one of the biggest ones you've seen here? Oh, you've uh, this, seen bigger? This is definitely on the larger side, but okay. they're, they're not uncommon. I almost wet my hands. Oh my goodness. Look <laughs> at that brook trout. Look at that brook trout. Look how thick he is. Okay, that's gorgeous. Let's get, let's get right they are healthy. Oh. Like that is a solid six, seven pound. Absolutely. Wow. Look how I'm swimming off. Once again, good show. Good show. <laughs> <laughs> I got him on a little leech. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, we gotta go pike fishing now. Like I'm done for brook trout. <laughs> what a great day. What a great day. We still got the rest of the afternoon. Why don't we go back to the boat, get some lunch, go pike fishing. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go. Perfect. Red Pine Wilderness Lodge is unique because it is so affordable and accessible. This drive-to lodge is located in a beautiful part of northern Ontario, yet it is only five hours from Toronto. It is also only hours from the U.S. border. Where else can you get huge brook trout, smallmouth, and other species that are so accessible? With the sun fully up, Ryan and I decided to try our hand at some pike fishing. Okay, so conditions have finally got to what we wanted for today. It's gonna to be hot. The water temperature's coming up. It was in the low 50s, Ryan and I discovered yesterday, so that's why we went brook trout fishing. Today, we're gonna have the temperatures probably going to the low 60s. It's perfect for pike. It's gonna move them from the deeper water into the shallows. I'm gonna be using a full sinking line to start off with, with a uh, strip leech with a bit of weight in it. I'm gonna fish close to the bottom and slowly. Ryan, what are you gonna use to start with? Actually, I'm gonna run a couple different things here. Uh, for one, big blue and silver jerk bait. Uh, there's lots of emerald shiners in the lake, um, spot tail shiners, so I'm going to give this a go, work it pretty aggressively, and a good locator bait to try to find some aggressive fish, tandem spinner bait. So, Colin, let's go get them. What I'm doing right now, um, Ryan's guiding us along the shoreline. We're going from anywhere from 15, 20 feet in to 40, 50 feet out. And what's great with the fly rod, I'm standing up here on the bow of the boat and I can cast easily right into the shoreline and just work the fly. And I'm using a white fly, it's easy to see. I'll see the follows, I'll even see the take, but best of all, what you're looking for are pike that could be in the shallows. And you know, this time of year, you can have a three foot pike sitting literally in a foot of water and they're gonna come up and hammer this thing. So, I'm looking for players right now, and I know that's why Ryan's using some of the baits he's using, uh, um, such as the rapella and the uh, spinner bait. And with this white fly, I'm going to entice them. I'm trying a couple different retrieves where I'm going slow as well as fast, just to see how active they are. Okay. I don't think it's a big fish. All I saw was a flash. There he is. There he just is. Just a little guy. But it's a nice start. I gave it a couple pulls and he hit it on the pause, which is normal. That's a nice little pike. Oh, it's amazing how strong that this is a nine weight rod and he's bending this thing. It's amazing. You ready? Get his head up. There you go. There we go. 
Yeah. Whew, first fish. So what I did was I changed my fly. I was using a heavy weighted fly and I went to something lightweight and letting the full sinking line pull it down and just gave it little pulls and that seemed to work. Small northern, but hey, it's first fish of the day. It's a start. Still got a scratch on them from mating. Yeah, they beat each other up pretty, pretty bad when they're spawning, eh? All right, let him go. Let's let him go. Whoa. Perfect. And there he goes. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. Oof. That's what they do to the fly. <laughs> Northern pike like to ambush their prey and will lay in wait near submerged rocks, weed lines, or fallen trees. Anywhere that will allow them to hide. Smallmouth bass happen to like the same areas. Though the season's not yet open for the bass, I keep catching them. I wish I was here for the opener. Oh, there he is. Oh. He finally took it, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we weren't actually trying to catch bass at this time. We're trying to catch pike. Uh, bass season hasn't opened yet. But one of the things that red pine is known for is very big bass. Isn't that right, Ryan? Uh, this lake is polluted with smallmouth up, uh, up at Red Pine Wilderness Lodge for sure. Oh, that's a nice fish. Nice markings on him too, eh? Yeah, he's very healthy for this time of year. And he hit that streamer. I actually thought it was a pike. But following it up, yeah. Okay. Well, the size of it, yeah. <laughs> and whoop, oh, oh, oh. wait, head first. There we go. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That is a nice fish. Holy cow. Beautiful. Red pine. Wilderness Lodge. Smalley. Just get him back in the water? Yes, please. All right. I will see you very soon. goes. The rods I used on this trip were nine foot fast action models in six weights for the trout and eight weights for the northern pike. The reels were large arbors with smooth drags. The lines used were weight forward floating lines for the surface flies and full sinking lines for streamers. We made a series of portages up the river flowing into Lady Evelyn Lake. My goal was to do dry fly fishing for beautiful brook trout. Unbelievably, few anglers ever come up the river to fish for these native trout. They are truly an untapped resource in this region and a great opportunity for fly fishers. Well, just as we hoped. <laughs> so what I did is I got a little elk hair caddis. Um, it's probably about a size 12. And I cast it just, I thought there, this is a nice deep pool here. And I just put it on the edge. I made two casts, second cast, got a good drift. A beautiful brook trout. Wow. Beautiful, look at, wow, look at the colors. The colors are amazing on that fish. He ripped the line off this reel. We couldn't get the camera started in time, but oh, it's, it's not a huge fish, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's what we've come here for. Wild, beautiful brook trout. Okay, we got his head up now. You all right there, Ryan, to get yep, at him? I believe so. Okay, and especially on a dry fly, this is so much fun. People wet. travel all over the world to try and find fishing like this, and to have it here is beyond words. You got him, got him, oh, oh. <laughs> There, there we go. go. All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at the colors. What do you say? 12? 14? Um, 
That's eight inches. That's uh, that's pushing that's pushing sixteen inches. Oh, at least fifteen. There you go already. Anyway. There he goes. Beautiful. Second cast. That was, nice. that was worth the time. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get another one. Okay? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, Colin's upstream fly fishing. I'm just chucking a little inline spinner through and hooked up with another gorgeous brookie. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to get down here. I do not wanna hurt this fish, especially with trout. It's always good to wet your hands first just to keep the protective slime on. Oh, that is a beautiful brookie. And look at that, look at that trout. Oh, there he goes, nice and easy. One more look at him. Actually, I gotta give this fish a kiss. <laughs> look at that, gorgeous, and there he goes. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I know I certainly had a great time. I worked hard portaging up into this river. Beautiful brook trout. And then, of course, those huge brook trout we got in the ponds, the pike. I mean, there's so much to offer up here in Northern Ontario. I really love this place. You get a chance, come up here to Red Pine Wilderness Lodge. I know you'll have a good time, whether it's in the spring, the summer, or the fall. It's just wonderful fishing. I really like bass fishing. I get a chance to do it because it's still too early. You get a chance, come here. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Kinawabi Travel Association, Ontario Tourism, Islander Precision Reels, and Orvis Sporting Traditions. <laughs>